close call. Hey there YouTube, so uh, I've been like way overdue to build a project, so I've decided it's time to do something, get off the couch and get in the garage, and I'm going to build a go-kart slash buggy off-road type vehicle, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So the plans for this project are strictly out of my head, there's nothing on paper, so who knows how this is going to turn out, that's just how I like to build things. I not as smart as some people to actually make a plan ahead of time. I just go ahead and do it. So you just never know how it's going to work out. In the end. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I hope you enjoy. Check it out. This was donated to me. I'll see what I can use off it. It's a Chinese model, so you know some of the stuff's going to be junk. But uh, I'll see what I can and can't make out of this thing. So I can see right off the hop before I get too far into this. These front shocks are kind of pooched. I don't know if you can see that. There's lots of play in there. And I see the, the kingpin setup's got some play in it. So basically I'm, I want the front end off this uh, and whatever other parts I can use, I'll probably use the front brakes, the rear brakes. I'll keep parts for maybe other projects or this project. We'll see how things go. And yeah, let's get at it. Okay, so this thing 
against it, another one will go, eh. Probably about 10 degrees caster, which isn't bad. I might go a little bit more. Controller. I was hoping when my buddy gave me this thing that it actually had uh, double A arms. So this is gonna be more of an I-beam setup with me. It's just like a little go-kart, so. Okay, I got some uh, eyeball engineering going on here. I put my straight edge on there. Whoops, get back there. Just to try to keep this as straight as I can. I'm trying it out. All right, there we go. So, going to line this up. There's a little indent in this upper plate. That's what I'm gonna do to keep this. So it's gonna be the same angle the other side. I'll use the same, the same method to keep the angle this where I want it. Of course, I don't have a ground. Song done. How's that going? Uh, pretty darn close. Hopefully, should be good enough for this project. There's one lengthened swing arm. 
control arm, I should say, sorry. Hoping it's gonna give me the stance I want. Like I say, the overall width of this will be just under four feet. I'm hoping with the shock location and that extension on there, um, it's gonna make the ride a little softer and also give me more travel. Again, I just mocked it back up with these old shocks. Those are those are coming off. We different ones going on. That's uh, this is just the start of my modifications. <laughs> then I'll start working on the chassis after this. So. Yeah. Anyways, that's what we got. Cool. Now I have the fun challenge of making this control arm the same as this one. Let's see if it can be done. So here's my completed uh, control arm modifications. Should work the way I want it to. I guess we'll find out. So I was thinking of using this for the motor on this here project, but once I went and I picked it up from the fella and brought it home and looked at it, there's way too many parts missing off this thing. I didn't even realize that the ignition wasn't there, so I can't even see if I could try to get it to run. It has like nothing for compression. So, I mean, by the time I got this thing the way I want it, I would have too much investment into a very old motor. So I think this is 
definitely not going to be the motor for this project. So with that said, anyone that's got a line on a good motor for this project, let me know. Always looking. Seeing I'm having no luck finding a motor for this project, this is an old motor I've had for years. I know it needs to be rebuilt. Uh, this is a 540 Yamaha. I'm sure it would make this thing go like stink. Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna work with it. Maybe I'll take it apart and see how bad it is. This might end up being the power source for this project. We'll see. See what it looks like inside. Alrighty, so this is where we're gonna leave this video. Um, Next video, I'm going to start working on the chassis, start bending up some tubing and see if this thing can actually take some sort of shape. I hope you uh, enjoyed my little video there. If you did, it would be uh, cool if you liked and subscribed. Keep coming back. I'm going to have some more videos for you and uh, then you get to see how this project turns out. Should be fun. All right. Have a good one.